Uh, what's happening, motherfuckers? We are doing functional and fuckable today. Uh, I probably just disappointed a ton of people because I was reading through some of the comments and everybody was like, fuck yeah, fuck that other type of working out shit, you pussy. I enjoyed it, I get a kick out of it. But um, functional and fuckable, come on over. Mixing up my electrolytes is very important. Um, if you are a fucking sweater, like me, and um, I mean, I still drink a ton of water, but whenever I work out, dude, and this is a prime example of what we're doing, just putting out the fucking, putting out the effort with everything, I cannot stress enough the importance of making sure you're hydrated. Very, very, very important. Like, not just during your workout, like, oh, look, I mixed up my electrolytes for this. Make sure, like, throughout the day, you're drinking enough fluid so that way you're able to perform at this time because I'm guilty of it. Sometimes I drink more coffee, an energy drink or something and start to dehydrate myself with too much caffeine. And it's like, you're defeating the purpose because our goal is fucking shit up right now. So, going into functional and fuckable workout. So with this, this is not CrossFit. CrossFit is different than this, I think, I don't know. I'm naturally not doing CrossFit. I also really enjoy the fact that everybody still thinks I'm sauced. I got people saying, he's taking 750 milligrams of testosterone, he's taking up to a thousand. <laughs> Bitch, do you remember what I looked like? I'm, how in the fuck did I get roped into the fake natty category? I'm like the guy that told the truth about everything. I told you about like, I mean, <laughs> everything. The drugs, the partying, uh, like my entire life and all of a sudden now I'm the fake fucking natty guy? Come on, come on. All right, so functional and fuckable. These workouts, again, like I said, are not CrossFit. Today we're gonna do a quarter mile run, then we're gonna do 20 push-ups, 10 toe to bars, 10 handstand push-ups, 10 pull-ups, and then 10 burpees over an object. And the goal here, and we're gonna do four rounds of this. They are not unbroken, this is not non-stop. We're gonna do this and take a break and recover and then go at it again. During this time, I wanna be able to perform these at the highest level of intensity possible. So I wanna fucking stiff dick these exercises, fucking go hard with them, and then take my rest, and then go and rush, and bring my heart rate back up, and then let it recover, and then bring it back up. So the whole goal I looked at was, I'm gonna bring my heart rate up, and then I'm gonna, when I take my break, I'm gonna control my breathing and, and bring my heart rate back down, recover, get some fluids in me, and then fucking go right back at it. Key to everything in life. Don't be a pussy. So, not bad, whole goal, intensity. It's not like we're just doing 20 easy push-ups. Pull-ups, total bars, at it. Don't be a pussy. Recover, a little water, right back at it. The goal is to elevate your heart rate with intensity 
Deep breaths in and out. Get ready again. The burpees! Two rounds in. <clears throat> Sweat. Functional and fuckable, baby. I love it. I like it. This shit, max effort. Max effort for this period of time. I don't think I'll ever get away, fully away from bodybuilding. I think I love it too much. I look back, go past the mirror, I'm like, yeah, I gotta work on this. Triceps are looking juicy today. Look at them tits. He's fucking, it's just in my blood. I, don't th I think anybody that works out has that in them to uh, appreciate whenever they're having a good arm day or a nice sick pump, and, but also at the same time being uber critical of themselves. My days are past in the competing days. It's one regret I have in life. Wish I would have competed more. I wish I would have, uh, when I get down to think about it, I should have created a hardcore f rivalry with Flex. Well, you live and you learn, and I'm very, very, very fortunate for where I am with the companies and everything like that. Uh, but for now, we got one more round. We're gonna push to the fucking limits, then do a little cool down. Let's go, motherfuckers. <laughs> That last set got me. That one got me. Fourth functional and fuckable workout since Idaho. Bear trip, I took a little time off. Still do my morning cardio back in it. These are ruthless 
and I feel vomit-esque right now. But I'll fucking feel phenomenal here. Like tonight when I go home, get my shower, relax with my kids. I don't know, it's like a satisfaction feeling of like working my balls off for the company all day, killing a workout, eating good food, coming home, eating dinner with the fam, getting a shower and then just sitting down with everybody at night. It's not even like I have to reflect upon it. I'm thinking about it now, but in the moment, that's why I feel so good at nighttime with my family. It's because my day, even if things don't go right and there's hectic at work, I love finishing the day with my family. Intensity is the name of the game, motherfuckers. You gotta have it in life. Otherwise you'll be a stagnant, I was trying to be nice, you'll be a stagnant piece of shit. Gotta have some intensity, gotta have some passion. Can't just be a one track, one dimensional motherfucker. But that's it for today. Functional and fuckable, baby. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, tell me what you wanna see next. We have been here with the camera. We're gonna be pumping out a ton of videos, so if you guys wanna see something, let us know in the comments. Other than that, stay functional and fuckable, my friends. I love y'all. Have a good day.